Today we're going to get Between a Rock and a Hard Place because we are doing the Between a Rock quest, which is a very old quest, came out in like 2005, which is insane. We're finally doing it today, many years later, um, because we need it for Dominion Tower is the main reason. Alright, let's go ahead and speak to the old Dondekin the Dwarf. He has dwarf in his name because you can't tell otherwise. Hello! What? I said hello! Hello! Um, a bit noisy here, isn't it? Cozy? No, not really. It's damp and cold. No, I said it's noisy. Then stop shouting. Um, are you firing a cannon at the wall? It's not a wall, it's a rock. What's the difference? It's a very special rock. I still don't quite follow. Oh, for Guthic's sake. It's perfectly simple. See that rock over there? It's impenetrable. Have you tried taking a pickaxe to it? Of course I have. I'm holding this rune pickaxe, aren't I? We've been trying to mine through it for years. We? I don't see anyone else. Well, I'm the only one left. All the others gave up, said it wasn't worth their while anymore. I wouldn't have a good return profit on their time investment. At first, we thought there might be a huge treasure behind the rock, you see. Isn't there? Until we had a look further down the stream, around the rock, no, there's no treasure there, just a dead end. I, I mean, if I were them, I would have, like, dug around it instead of just digging a little hole to it and then trying to break it. See how big it is? Whatever. They only had many years to work on it. Okay. So, why are you trying to get through the rock again? Because, obviously, there are vast deposits of minerals inside the rock. And if not, I want to harness the extreme hardness of the rock itself. The only problem is that I have run out of ideas on how to do it. Perhaps a young adventurer like you is willing to help out an old dwarf like me. Want to find out what's inside the rock? Um, sounds interesting. Welcome aboard, then. Um, what do you need me to do? I want you to find out some more information on the rock, because after years, he's not thought to do that himself. Now, where would I do that? I don't know, wish I knew. But we have to get some better understanding of what this thing actually is. Maybe then we can find a way to break it open. And what are you going to do while I go running across half of RuneScape, I'll wager? I'll guard my cannon and fire more cannonballs at it. Of course. Wish I had your job, mine's a tough one. Want to trade places? My legs are too old and worn to do much running around anymore, I'm afraid. Of course. Well, off you go now, start running, start talking. But I still don't know where. Oh, why so difficult? Look, try the city further down the stream here. There's bound to be someone there who knows something. If you still can't find anyone, go to the librarian. He knows a lot. Uh, what I'm curious is, now, obviously, he tried uh, Mithril and Rune Cannonballs because they're harder and would therefore potentially do more damage. But why did he try Bronze Cannonballs? I'm assuming those are steel and not, like, tin or silver. But, uh, yeah, like, why is there bronze there? I could understand Adamant. That would have made sense. And then he's just firing... These plain ones again. Those are steel ones as well, aren't they? Maybe these are silver or tin. Very strange. Strange decisions on his part. Anyway, so something I forgot to mention last episode, I think I forgot at least, is that I do have a crystal pickaxe now, which is pretty cool. I couldn't decide which one to do first, uh, pickaxe or hatchet, so I just went with pickaxe. I thought this uh, doorway was a quest reward, but I can go through it, and I don't think I've done the quest I thought it was a reward for, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe they changed it, maybe I imagined it, who knows. I, mean, I should probably look up where we're going now that I think about it. Um, We have to go to the consortium and speak to a dwarven engineer. So, like, right here. Uh, now, there was an update this week. Uh, it wasn't anything particularly impactful for us, so we'll get to that in a minute, talking about it. Do you know anything about this rock in the mines? Now, what rock would that be exactly? The big rock in the mines to the south, with an old dwarf standing beside it. Ah, Don's Rock, right? Er, yes, I think so. Do you know what it's made of? No, no one knows. No one here, anyway. The only one I can think of is Rolad, a renowned scholar. He was part of Dondekin's team once, many years ago. So where can I find this Rolad? He left to explore the world, learning by experience or so, he said. 
Me, I prefer a cold stout at home, but it takes all sorts. I think he's currently with the Black Guard at Ice Mountain. Great, thanks a lot. All right, we'll go there. So yeah, the main thing was a charity thing this week, and it's got a little in-game thing you can see here. It's just cosmetic, though, so... I mean, for charity, you think they could have made something a little more useful? Like, I mean, they gave out that staff that had, like, unlimited runes and uh, fire, water, and earth the other event last year or so. Well, maybe earlier this year. Like, they should have done something like that for charity. It would have made sense. Oh, well. But yeah, that was like one of the main ones. There's also uh, sec the uh, security thing going on again that they've done at least one or two years, I think. And uh, every day we can get a free clue scroll, um, which we will do at the end of this episode, if I remember. I won't guarantee it because I've forgotten things before. All right, we need Rolad. I think he's right here. Yep. I was just over here buying an ammo mold from this guy earlier today. Excuse me, would you happen to be Rolad the Scholar? Why, yes, I think so. Who's asking? He thinks so. Kebab, and I've come to ask you about a rock. You're awfully tall for a dwarf, you know, Kebab. And a rock, you say? I suppose I know a fair bit about rocks, yes. It's this rock Dondekin is trying to break open. You know Dondekin, right? Oh, old Dondekin. Sure, I know him, and I know his rock, too. It's that unbreakable one, isn't it? Yes, that's the one. What can you tell me about it? Well, as a matter of fact, I picked up an interesting book on one of my travels from a quite out-of-the-way dwarven outpost. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems to describe this very rock and how it came to be placed in that cavern. I tore out the most interesting pages for more detailed perusal. What? Let me get them for you. Oh dear. Ripping pages out of books was a bad idea. <laughs> What's wrong? I seem to have misplaced the pages, a pity. I'd wanted to study them some more. Oh well. What? No, I need that book! Oh, well if it's that important to you, perhaps you can go and look for the pages. There should be three of them. Where should I start looking? I probably lost them in the mines below. I don't have them up here in any case. What, in the mining guild? No, no, I never go there. I'm not a member, you know. But sometimes I go down to the regular mines to study the conditions of the working dwarf. Okay, thanks. I'll go and look for the pages then. Ah, oh, jeez. It's only three pages and he needed to, like, carry them around with him to peruse in a detailed manner. Whatever. Okay, I know we can get one by mining a rock. I know that for a fact. I know we can get one by killing a scorpion. There's one. Hooray. Book page three. I almost said, thought it said five for a second. Been weird. But yeah, oh, the big thing, for me at least this week, is that they are now tracking clue scroll drops. Which means that, um, basically when the clue scroll overhaul comes out, we'll already have some things listed as obtained. Anything you obtained before today does not count. Oh, today, yes, today. This episode is late today because my internet went out yesterday morning and did not come back until I don't even know when. I because I had to unplug my router and plug it back in. Are these the right scorpions? Maybe not. But yeah, um, it was down for all the day and presumably some of the night as well. I don't know. All I know is that when I woke up this morning, 4 a.m., it was back after I reset my router and modem. Modem always seems like the wrong word for me for the uh, modern internet, but I guess it's the right. Yeah, that was fun. Very fun. I don't think I mentioned that at the start of this episode. Uh, I could have. It was very annoying. I mean, geez. I have so many things to do on the internet that not having the internet is terrible. I mean, I got a little bit of, like, tidying up done on my, my laptop's desktop and my uh, recording folder on this desktop. I confusing having two different words for desktop in that sentence, but whatever. Well, not two different uses of the word desktop, I guess. Do I need to talk to him? I don't know. I'll talk to him anyway. Look, I found all of your missing pages. Missing pages? Yes, the missing pages of that book we were talking about earlier? Oh, yes, quite right. Let me see them, please, and I'll put the book back together for you. There you go. You will give it back when you finish with it, won't you? 
I'd really like to study it in more detail sometime. Um, of course. I'd be happy to. Splendid now, there's a good dwarf. 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 Alright, so yeah, we got this whole thing. Arzinian, yes, that's, uh... That's an important detail, that's why we're doing this. I now have enough info for Dondekin, okay. I think maybe the fastest way to get to him is probably this. I don't know, could be wrong. Oh yeah, the updated uh, Grand Exchange. That was one of the updates. I'm not a fan of this personally. I liked having the Grand Exchange right next to the tree. Now it's, I think it's a slightly bigger walk, which is annoying, it's also farther from here. Basically, it's worse in every way for gameplay reasons. But people wanted it because they think it'll somehow make Varrock more popular. When the real reason Varrock is unpopular is because it has nothing going for it. The lodestone's far away. There's basically nothing else to do in the town. I mean, if they want it to be popular, they gotta move the lodestone. They gotta add a task challenge person, whatever they're called again. Challenge mistress. They gotta add a Diango equivalent. They just gotta add all the things and give it maybe some training methods, like maybe pickpocketing merchants, have it be like a lower level um, Minifos pickpocketing thing. Things like that. If they want Varrock to be popular, that's what you gotta do. You can't just change the layout of the Grand Exchange and suddenly people will want to waste their time going there. I mean, these free teleports definitely help. That's probably definitely boosted it a little, but, uh, yeah. Until it can compete with, at the very least, Minifos, it's just not gonna be popular. And then, yeah, Prif Dennis, that lodestone's right next to, like, 5,000 useful things. Of course people are gonna use it. Oh, that was the other thing. I've not even tried this out yet, but we have an empty spot on our, um, thing. Supposedly. Oh, nope. How do you do that? Oh, I probably have to unlock it. Yeah, you can do that now, which is awesome. Very, very awesome. I forget why I wanted that, but I definitely wanted that for something at one point recently. Hmm. Okay, Dondekin. Trying to think. There's more stuff I needed to say, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Let's relock this, actually. Okay. Rolad gave me a book that was quite interesting to read. I think I know what's inside it. What? What? Tell me. Um, well, a demonic spirit for one. A what? A demon spirit. A demonic spirit, I mean. And apparently the inside of the rock is lined with gold. Gold? Did you say gold? Yes, and a... Uh, a gold? I knew it. I struck gold. I'm set for life. What's left of it, anyway? Now tell me, how do I break open the rock? I'm not sure. It mentioned something about a yellow material, but it didn't doesn't seem to be particularly concerned with actually breaking open the rock. You see, the demonic spirit is being kept inside it. Yes, yes, I heard you the first time. Well, we're not very much closer to a solution then, are we? Um... So the book mentioned a yellow material. And? Well, it strikes me that we need to find something yellow to fire. Like what? Hmm, bananas, buttercups, lemons? Don't be ridiculous. I was thinking out loud. Well, in future, please don't. Um, I don't know. Let me read. Ah, we have to show him gold. I'll be back later. Aha, you want me to make a golden cannonball? Well, the book does say that there's gold inside the rock, and it did say that a yellow item would work, so I thought perhaps gold can damage it as well. Hmm, I suppose you have a point there. Tell you what, if you make a golden cannonball and give it to me, I'll fire it at the rock. Alright, so I don't think there's actually a place to smith around here, so we'll just head on over to Lumbridge. I guess, I don't know. I mean, there's one right there, so why not? Away we go! Where did I get this from, though? Oh, I mined in the mine, that's right. Yeah, okay. There's Count Check. We'll deal with him later. Good old count check. Alright, so in here we go. I'm very excited to be done with this quest and one step closer to completing my ultimate goal of ultimateness. How do I do this? 
How do I do this? I use like the hold on there. Okay, how do I do this? Huh. I guess I do this. Yes, I do want to make a golden cannonball. Um, there we go. Do I only need one? Use a gold bar to make a golden cannonball. Okay. Alright, so then we just go back, I guess. Away we go. It's a long trip. So fun. Alright, we might not actually have to walk. There might be a faster way to get there taking the boat, but whatever. We will just keep doing it this way. Quick travel. I'm trying to think. I know there was other things I wanted to say today, but now that I'm actually recording, I can't remember. Kind of sucks, but whatever. All right, here we go. Bonk. <laughs> it takes so long to bonk into the end. Okay. I wonder if it's faster to run through here. It might be. You could time it, figure it out, do all the calculations. Because you'd have to run all the way up there and back, but here you just do that, and then you run across, and then you run back down. Probably not any faster, right? But it could be. If the doors were open, it'd probably help. But the doors are not open. I guess you could also check run energy used, and that would probably tell you without even needing to time it. Hmm. Oh well. The graphics down here are so terrible. See, that door stays closed because it's supposed to be a quest reward. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I really don't know. Alright, Dondekin. Or do I just need to use the cannonball on you? I have that golden cannonball you asked me to make. That That is an amazing looking cannonball. Are you sure you want me to fire it at the rock? It's going to make a nasty dent in it. The cannonball, that is. Yes, I'm sure this will crack open the rock. It breaks my heart to ruin such a fine piece of crafting, but it's your gold. All right, let's load it up then. Oh yeah. Bonk. It's gone. Did did you see that? There was three dids, but I only said two. The cannonball went right through it. I don't believe it. All this time I've been spending all my gold on opening the rock. I could have just thrown it at it. But the rock didn't actually break, did it? No, it seemed more like it gave way for a second. That's interesting. So how does this help us? Why, I'll just shoot you through it so we can have a look, won't I? Uh, shoot me through it? Uh, exactly what do you mean? Very simple. I'll have to make a few modifications to my can so that it can fire a human. And you'll need a golden helmet, of course. Then I'll fire you at the rock so you can do a little reconnaissance. Don't worry, you should land safely on the other side of the rock. Based on what knowledge... <laughs> Exactly. Might want to pick up that cannonball again while you're at it. But what if I bump into that demon, the one from the book? Don't be silly now, it's just a rock. Just a rock with lots of gold in it. Um, so you want to fire me into the rock? Yes, just to see what's inside, to see if all that gold is really embedded inside it. Are you sure that it's safe? No, but then we'll never know until we've tried it, right? Okay, I can't argue with that. Shoot me in. Jeez, oh, this conversation's like happening twice. I don't get it. Well, it's not so simple. Like I said, I need to make some modifications to my cannon. They're not really designed to fire humans, you know? Okay, I'll just wait right here until you've made them. I don't really know how, actually. Never been much of an engineer. If I had the right schematics for it, I could probably work with that, but I don't. Okay, so you only need to look for the schematics for you. Is that it? That's it, yes, here, I have one part of the schematics sent to me by some prankster dwarf. I don't even remember his name. You'll have to find the rest on your own. Oh, and you'll also need the golden helmet, of course. Would hurt quite a bit otherwise. Won't a gold-plated helmet do? No, it has to be a helmet made of solid gold. Gold-plated helmets contain so little actual gold, it'd be a bit dangerous. Unless you want to die when I shoot you at the rock. No, no, I'll get you a helmet made out of solid gold. Although that will be a horrendously heavy thing to actually wear. Yes, yes. We'll get going now, why don't you? I'll guard the cannon while you're away. That's what I thought you'd say. 
Is gold really that much heavier than all the other metals that you can make helmets out of in RuneScape? I don't actually know. I know it's heavy, soft, but is it that heavy? Hmm. I don't actually know the comparison. Oh well. Now we gotta go here. I think there's a place where we can smith here. We also have to find the uh, schematic. A transparent overlay. Details of something? Okay. Yeah, let's Maybe I should just look at this and figure out where to go. Ah, there's one right over here, apparently. I, that's right, I remember that. What's annoying is I don't think there's a regular furnace in Keldegrim. There's only the blast furnace. Very, very annoying. Alright, I think we just use the gold bars on it. Golden helmet. I used to like this helmet, you know, back in pre RuneScape HD era. Doesn't look very good anymore. Oh well. It's a thing, it's why I wasn't wearing a helmet. We now have this amazing helmet. Alright, so we have to find the stuff. Okay, so we have to read this book, I guess. That's odd. This page of the book has a very peculiar picture drawn on the back. Yes, I'll tear it out. Uh-oh, I broke the book. I throw away the book. Wow, I said I'd give it back to him, and I didn't say I was lying. What a jerk. All right, well, there we go. We got the schematic piece. Somehow, okay, one of them is held by the guy we talked to at the start, I think. Let's go over there. You know, the guide said this quest takes 55 minutes, but I don't think it does. Do you have any schematics related to the Dwarven Multi-Cannon? Why, what do you need them for? Ah, so you do. Donakin needs schematics to modify his Multi-Cannon to fire a human, you see. And you'd be the test subject? I mean, the cannonball? Um, yes, I suppose so. Aha, I would like to see that. Well, that's not how I said it, but whatever. Here, take this Horvac sent it to me from White Wolf Mountain, kind of as a joke. It's incomplete, of course. Doesn't mean anything without the others. Parts. Aha, uh -huh, he's always a laugh, that Korvac. Shooting humans out of cannons. Thanks, I suppose. So wait, are you telling me that dwarves are just, like, constantly sending incomplete schematics for human firing cannons? Like, this is just a normal joke that they do? Like, what the heck? Or is this the normal schematic and they just have no sense of humor? Okay, so the last one we need to go talk to Korvac, who is under White Wolf Mountain, right? He's that guy who's at the drinky place. Who I always knew he was involved in a quest and I could never remember which one. It's this quest, apparently. Away we go! Look at that boat. Alright, the cave entrance is to the north now, isn't it? that well that quest is that it yeah i think this is there's multiple caves and stuff in this area now it's very confusing all right which one of you is korvac korvac you are here right korvac i didn't just imagine it maybe i did imagine it. maybe he's old dwarf hello there youngster who are you calling youngster why you, unless you have seen the small village of Faldor grow into a heaving city like I have, of course. Er, no. Well then, enjoy your stay in our mountain home. Nope, that was not Korvac. Is he not here? Did I imagine it? We're under White Wolf Mountain. Um... Go to the pub and talk to Korvac. Captain Nento? Where's Korvac? Am I blind? There he is. I'm looking for schematics to modify the Dwarven Malta Cannon to fire a human. Can you help? Aha, yes, I have just the Shing. I've been working on this design for quite a while now. Never got to test it. Love to see it suit out a real human. Well, can you give them to me? I'd be willing to try the experiment. Ooh, sure, sure. I've only got one part left, though. I gave all the other parts away. Who did you... I already know. How should I know? I'm only a simple dwarf. Okay, can I have it then? Of course. Just give me a drink and I'll gladly help you. Okay, what do you want to drink? Oh, just a glass of Dwarven Stout. Which happens to be on the table, so it's quite a simple request for me. Where did he go? Where is he gone? Where is he? I have lost him again. He's too... 
too wily. What the heck? There he is. Jeez. Here, I've got your dwarven stout. That's wonderful. You're a good human. You are here. Have this schematic and have fun with it. A symbol. Oh, God. I don't even remember this. So... I guess this is what we're doing here, right? Gonna need rotated, I suppose. Where is it? I don't actually know. Can I like look at a picture of what this is supposed to look like? I have no idea what I'm doing here. No, I think that's correct. I don't think I need to. No, I think I do need to. I don't know. I think yes. Oh gosh, it doesn't rotate how I thought it would. I think that might be how it's supposed to go, which means I set it up for no reason. Oh yeah, it does go like that. So they are supposed to match up. For some reason, I couldn't see that. My brain was like, nah. I wonder how specific it is on lining things up. All right, now I'd like to see schematic two and select schematic two. All right, and not select the one that I can't see. That would be silly. What am I doing with this? Um, like, where's a bit that actually goes on anything? I don't actually see any bits that make any sense. Um, huh. Can I see schematic two lines up with the head and schematic three lines up with the legs? Schematic 2 lines up with the head of the person, I guess? What does that even mean? This has got to be wrong, right? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. This puzzle is too puzzling for me. But really, I need, I need some idea what I'm doing. Okay. I'm seeing that this is correct. This is very confusing. Yeah, I think that is uh, basically how it's supposed to be. There, that looks lined up. All right, so schematic three has the legs on it of the guy and, oh wow, it's actually rotated the right way, it looks like. All right. Hey, we did it. Yes, that is definitely completely logical. All right, so now we have the schematic. Now we can go ahead and ride the free train cart because they got rid of the cost. It was so nice of them. Make them free. I wish they would uh, go back and fix other forms of transportation to be more reasonable, like the hot air balloons from that Enlightened Journey quest that we haven't done yet. Things like that. Just revise some old forms of transportation to compete with the modern methods. It'd be nice, but I don't think they will. All right, though, uh, I think we are just about ready for a thing. What's this guy doing? Just standing around, being a tiny guy. He does look very tiny from a distance. Is he smaller than other dwarfs? No, I don't, I don't think particularly. It's just the angle, I guess camera and the height and all that. Oh well. I think now it's pretty much just the boss fight. I'm expecting this to be a very easy boss fight. Apparently this boss bases his uh, combat method on your highest uh, attack level thing, so I assume he's going to use range. I could be wrong, but uh, our levels are close enough that it shouldn't be an issue because he's very low level. And I don't think he has any particular like strength. So I, I'm assuming here that I'm not going to need food or prayer or anything, but uh, we'll find out, I suppose. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll probably just use the schematic on him. Might save time. You don't want anything right now. Okay, jerk. I've got your schematics all assembled, and I have that golden helmet as well. Wonderful, these schematics look simple enough. Are you ready for your quick trip through the rock, then? You may fire when ready. Ah, such enthusiasm. Okay, here we go. 
let me have a look at those schematics and we'll get started. Oh yeah, cutscene time. Right, sitting comfortably? Uh, not really, no. Excellent, excellent. I'll get the cannon ready to fire then. I'm starting to get the second thoughts about this. Don't worry, you respawn. Just think of all that gold. I'm thinking of that demon. This is a weird... Don't worry, it'll all be over in a moment. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, come on. Oh, pff, don't even get to see yourself fire. Look at you fly, bonk. Where? Where am I? What is this place? Buffled sounds. Donakin said there was supposed to be a river behind the rock, but I don't see a river here. I think, I think, I think I may be inside the rock. You are in my domain now. Be gone, lest you wish to be destroyed. What? What was that? Oh, my poor head. This helmet seems heavier than ever. I need to think fast. If I remember correctly, that book Rolad gave me mentioned that the demonic spirit had an aversion to gold. Perhaps I should mine some before I continue. Uh, my helmet gets heavier. I can only keep it on for about eight more minutes. All right, so uh, basically you can mine a bunch of gold to make it easier, but uh, I don't think we really need to worry about it. Except that you do need to have um, more than... You have to have at least six ores. We'll mine 15 because that'll lower its level slightly, but not the maximum because I'm lazy. But there's my good old crystal pickaxe. Very nice that you don't have to worry about them running out of charges. Otherwise, I would not ever use them. But I just got an Inferno Ads instead. Or, uh, is Inferno Ads equal to Dragon? I forget. It wasn't when it came out because there was no Dragon pickaxe. Would have been weird if it was better than the only other pickaxe in the game that was good. Oh well. But yeah, this guy will heal forever. And who knows, maybe with. EOC, we could do enough damage to kill him, even with him healing constantly, but, you know, I don't feel like finding out, really, for some reason. I wish there was a timer somewhere. I don't think there is, though. Ah, the helmet became heavier. I guess that's our one-minute mark there. Oh, well, we're doing good. We can mine fast with our pickaxe. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool looking, actually, for old graphics. I mean, clearly they've been updated, but still... There he has aged quite nicely. From whenever they updated it last. I always liked the rocks in the wall. I kind of wish they did that in more places. But they don't. For some reason they like to have the rocks just sitting out in the middle. I think it's easier to click probably, but I like it. It looks cool. Anyway, I said we were getting uh, 14, right? That'll lower his combat level. Or is it 15? Whatever amount it is, we'll just do 15, I guess. We're almost ready. I remember actually, like, almost running out of time. I had trouble with this quest from what I remember on my main account. But, uh, that was a long time ago, and I was probably very low level at the time. I don't remember what combat level I was when I got membership, but it was definitely, like, 60 or less. I was definitely not in the 70s. That's for sure. And that's combat level, not combat levels. That's actual. Oh, yeah. I wish I could remember the exact level I was. But oh well. Yeah, this... Uh... Oh, my helmet just got heavier, I guess. If I had the message timer on, I could see. Yay, I'm through the... Oh, gosh. Cutscene. So shiny. So very shiny. I like it. Alright, let's jump through the flame again, I guess. Oh, no, they're too hot. What do I do then? Oh, talk to, maybe? Talk to Wall of Flames. You did not heed my message to stay away. You have brought doom down on yourself. There are many aspects to my being, and there are many skills I possess. You are an able ranger, yet that is useless against my might. 
Behold, as my avatar descends to your level to extinguish the flame of your puny existence. And while your power is great, mortal, I will still resist you. Did he just... Why does he think I'm better at range than I am at mage? Kind of glitchy, isn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> I'm out, I guess. Yeah, that was about as easy as I expected. You suddenly notice all the gold has disappeared. Okay. The whole cave was shaping. The whole cave was shaking. What happened in there? I, um, just let me collect my thoughts. It all seemed like a sort of distant dream now. I believe I called that, what was it, the Arzinian being? That demon? What, you actually killed him? Well, I killed its avatar. I'm not sure what happened to the demon itself. Probably banished into some hellish realm or other. He'll be back, but not for a few thousand years, I'm sure. But in the meantime, there's plenty of gold for me. For us. Of course, of course. Whenever you want to go back in there, just let me know. Just don't forget to bring your helmet. And here, have the serene pickaxe as well. I can just use a normal one for now anyway. Great, thanks a lot. No, no, thank you. After all these years, the riddle of the rock has finally been cracked. Hooray! That was ridiculously easy. Let's go back in there. Oh, okay. Fire into rock. Bring me back into the rock. We can just look around real quick. Aw, the cool effect is gone. That makes me sad. I liked it a lot. Oh well. Yeah, so that is that quest. Um, what all did I say I was going to do at the end of this episode? I know we were going to go to account check and do the clue scroll. It's actually a little annoying because they have their own custom set of clues for it. But luckily it's apparently the same ones they used last year and probably the year before that if they did this more than that. What's really weird is I don't remember doing this last year. So, I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't playing RuneScape that week. Who knows? Alright. Give me a clue scroll. Alright. Check my account. Okay. Let me take a look. Ooh, look at all that. I I do have an authenticator set up. Hmm. I set it up actually earlier today. Huh. I don't know. That's annoying. I set it up. What did I do wrong? I don't get it. I don't want to click there because it'll log me out. Let me see here. I'm going to check the website. I got the clue scroll at least. We can load that up. Ah, uh, is it the same one every time? Because... No, wait, no, it's not. That's a different one I had. In a place of great wealth, atop a castle, speak to the soul supervisor. I mean... Soul supervisor. Where is great wealth? I don't know. Let me go ahead and log in here. Wait, I'm typing the completely wrong password in. That's good job, me. Log into the website. I did type the completely wrong password in, which is weird, because I didn't think I did. Maybe my brain broke. Oh well, quest complete. We can waste time now, it doesn't matter. Just makes my upload take even longer. All right, Authenticator. Authenticator is disabled. I, whatever, set up now. Okay, I will redo it then. I turned off my phone earlier though, so it wouldn't go off. Uh, well, anyway, let's work on this. Okay, great wealth. Speak to the soul supervisor. You know what, I'm gonna try to figure out how to uh, do this. Blue scroll CS suite, that's what we want. All right, in a place of great wealth, great wealth, knock. Wow, they use great wealth in like five different clues. Um, in, in a place of great wealth, gosh, oh, they use it in seven clues. Speak to the, oh, they do mean Lumbridge Castle. I guess great wealth just means bank. I thought they meant like specifically like a, a city that had a lot of money, but no, it just means any old bank. Oh, my phone. Very unhappy with me. It has some SD card issue that I don't fix. Okay. Oh, it's complaining again. Yeah, I've got this authenticator thing in here. I guess I'd better delete it. Because it's apparently incorrect. Come on, delete. Trash. Alright, add a new authenticator. 
This is live account security situation. There we go. Oh, I think I forgot to actually enter the code and hit enter is what happened. Because they make you actually prove that you've done it. Finish. The code was incorrect. No, it was definitely the correct code, but I've noticed that sometimes you have to wait for it to cycle through the code once. Oh, well, let's talk to a banker. Um, talk to the banker. Well solved. All right. Spooky village. Ah, this is one I've had before. All right, go here while I try to get my authenticator working because we can't get the full reward without it, and that would make me sad. All right, finish. Yay, I'm now protected. Okay, well, that was dumb. Tried to not have to deal with my phone during this episode, and instead I have to actually use it while recording. It's nonsense. Nonsense. Game. I'm not a big fan of the authenticator, honestly. Mostly because of how often they make you reset it. Like, I don't care about it that much on my actual computer. I just don't want people getting on their own computer. Oh, well. Interrupt the exam of a student who hates math. Um, well... The only place I would know that to be would be up in near Edgeville. If I can go look at this. Math. Yeah, it's where I thought it was. I know because I had to go there for a different, um, different clue on my main account. Look at how shiny I am with my golden helmet of goldenness that nobody cares about. There is a lot of gold in there. Like, just a nonsense amount of gold. And you can... It, I mean, it's a good place to mine gold, don't get me wrong. It's just mining gold isn't really a thing that people do anymore. Come on, get through this door. Oh, come on, I never did that? I thought I did. We went through this thing not long ago. Didn't we? I swear we did. Oh, well. Head up the stairs, then. I remember commenting on the jail being the only entrance to the school. Like, why did you even connect that? Okay, so which of these students hates math, I wonder? Um... Which one of you... Uh... Ah, we got it. In a place of pestilence, dig directly east of a goo-ridden escape. Pestilence? Are they talking about um, the roaches? No, the stronghold of security. Okay. Well, at least we can use this door now. Yeah, I had to go speak to him. Well, not speak to Henry. I had to look through his shelf or something. Okay, so the stronghold of security on the third level, the vine near the rewards chest. All right. Down we go. We... Alright, and here. Down we go. It's a bit annoying that they can't just have like a shortcut to go down a floor once you've done it. Making you do this multi-portal thing. A bit tiresome, not gonna lie. Join us live for the drop. That's right, they're doing a thing where you connect your Twitch account and get rewards now from watching streams. I don't know how that's gonna work with the fact that I have two accounts though. Have they thought of that? Can I connect two accounts to the same Twitch, or do I have to make a another account? It's going to be annoying if I have to have two Twitch accounts just to get rewards on both accounts. Okay, can we, like, actually stand next to it? Oh, the escape vine, not the downwards ladder. Duh. Okay, what does this actually say? Oh, east. I thought it was just next to. Whatever. What do I do if my account is compromised? <laughs> Um, both. All right, what do we do? Speak to the professor who's a true button-down exam. Well, I'm going to guess it's Henry because they seem to be limited to free areas and that's the only school in all of the free area. The only other one would be the dig site as far as I can remember. Uh, but I guess we'll get there and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then we'll have to try something else. Simple as that. But yeah, with a, an authenticator and a pin setup, you'll get two clue score rewards. 
they're somehow based on your level. I don't know the exact method, but they can go up to hard level clue scroll rewards. And I would assume that they would actually count towards the um towards the uh, tracker that they added today. What? I just Ooh, I'm annoyed. Do I have to talk to him or something? I don't know. Like, why is the door locked? I went out of it just a minute ago. I know you can unlock it. That's definitely a thing you can do. Goblin. Okay, Professor. Ah, oh, top marks. Can I, like, make you open the door? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we got the rewards. So let's see, what's in, um... Hey! That is not bad. That is not bad at all. There's a million for me. And, oh. Um, give me one second. I am going to do this and then log out and in and also move my leg because I've been sitting on it. Ah, it's dying. My leg is dying. It doesn't want to log me out. It's like complaining here. I think I may have done an oopsie. I think maybe adding an authenticator while you're logged in causes issues. Major, major issues. I'm going to have to restart the game. Okay, well, you get to sit in darkness for a little while while we do this. Um, good luck. Good times. Have fun. I don't know. It's loaded. It doesn't take long to load. Logging back in. I'm going to have to enter my authenticator, aren't I? Yep, enter my six-digit code generated by my authenticator app. I am trying. All right. All right. I'm coming back. I don't think there's actually anything too vital on that screen, but sometimes you do get kicked out straight to your, um... Look at this view that I logged into. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, sometimes it kicks you out to your login and shows your... jerk. Hey, look at that. Wow! I'm holding on to this Robin Hood hat because... The uh, Clue Scroll rework is adding an upgrade for the Robin Hood hat, I think. Or maybe that's just the boots. Hmm. Either way, I like the Robin Hood hat as a thing. I think it's just the boots, but maybe they'll add both. Either way, it's a cool little hat to have. Let's look at this thing. I don't know. It's been so many years since I've gotten a Robin Hood hat. I think I only ever got one, if any. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. We got a good set of items. My main account got crap. Yeah, Ando Smiter, Mitre, Mitre, I don't know how to pronounce that word, honestly. We'll sell that one. All right, so yeah, that is... Uh, was there something else I was going to do? Oh, yeah, the treasure hunter thing, I guess. We'll do that. Why not? Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Oh, and the charity thing, I was going to show that. Charity thing, yeah, here it is. It's a whole bunch... I mean, it's not completely terrible-looking outfit, based on that. But, uh cosmetic so not particularly exciting um what else it was treasure hunter i've got three because i got one you also get an extra one for pen and for the authenticator so i got this genie thing going on is she in a different pose than she was before i don't know remember maybe that's just low detail and high detail either way a large hydro lamp we've been doing herb lore and smithing is my combination I think I accidentally put one in Invention earlier. Big deal, right? Oh, there we go. What was my third item? Oh, Toad Flax Potion. Yeah, that's interesting, I guess. Yeah, we're getting close to Herblore 87, though. That's something. And I'm making progress on 90 smithing as well. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. Um, anything else? Uh, we could take a quick glance, I guess, at the patch notes, if you want to. I mean, why not? I like to discuss the updates and... I'm in the mood to talk. It's been a 49 minute episode. We might as well keep on going here. Oh, they added a new outfit. Yeah, this this is very annoying. Let's go ahead and go here because I should have it. Um, can I like find it in here? Search for wing, I guess. Yes. Uh, why am I on legs? I want like full outfits. Yes. Yeah, so this is the new outfit they added. It's like, oh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. The thing is that it's obviously just a recaller of this one, which they gave free to everyone already. 
And this is the one free um, cosmetic thing that Premier Club members have gotten this whole year. And it's just a recaller of something that was already free and included a staff. So, yeah. Kind of stupid, isn't it? Kind of just stupid. Bit of an insult, really. They obviously just did it because so many people had been complaining. They're like, you know what? Let's just recall or something. But they could have chosen something that hadn't been free just this year. Oh, well. Um, what else was there? I was going to the patch notes because that wasn't even in the patch notes. All right. What else? What else? Combination runes, fill urns, and give fragments. Um... Skill selection interfaces a use all button. Oh, that's interesting. So now you can use all lamps and stars at once, I guess. You can now buy flash powder factory outfits with tallers. You can do a thing. So much random stuff. Um, oh, now a golden uh, prawn crackers get used all at once if you use one, which would have been useful not long ago when I had a ton of them on my main. Not so much anymore. Um, yeah, the lodestone thing, and yeah, that's basically the only other thing that's really important. It wasn't that big of a week. This isn't a very big looking month. The other thing is they're updating the holly wreath graphically at some point in the near future, and that annoys me because that is a discontinued rare item from 2014 that uh, it looks okay. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. That's why they're updating it, but the thing is, it that there's just so much crap in the game that's outdated. Like, in Ardoin, you have the heroes that are wearing rune armor that's slightly colored weird, that hasn't been updated since, like, probably 2004, I assume. I think it probably almost the exact same model. They got a new weapon, I think, but... Yeah, it annoys me that they're updating graphics constantly of things that have been updated in the past five years, when there's still graphics that have outside of textures being added in 2008, not been touched since they were added to the game. It's annoying to me. But, uh, whatever. Um, I don't think there's anything really else going on today. Next episode is a non-quest day. Not sure what we'll be doing. I did get another court case, so that could be what we do. Let's see what court case it is, actually. Oh, never mind. Whatever, that's it. I don't feel like doing that. Uh, see you guys next time.